I'm Rob Shendo. This is episode 16 of Rob's Feed. Technical difficulties. It's one thing after another, and I guess it's uh, my own fault, but I have to get the newest thing all the time. And uh, the newest thing isn't always the best thing until it's been proven a little bit. I have uh, a couple ways. Uh, well, first of all, I don't have any landlines, any cable TV. Everything I do is online and stuff is virtually wireless. I've told you before about the um, 4G WiMAX internet service I use. And I've also told you, I think, that for phone service, I use Magic Jack. And I've, uh, my life's been pretty happy with them. But uh, one thing is, problem with another, and when there's too much going on wirelessly, I guess there tends to be some interference. They don't want to coexist all that well together. I, um, I've noticed for a while that the Magic Jack had some difficulties. And I always blamed it on the fact that it needed to have uh, the fastest uploads possible because when you talk, your, your audio signal that you're making in your phone call, there's a series of digital packets that go and then the packets drop and the conversation becomes very choppy and it makes it miserable for the person who's trying to talk to you. Now, it turns out that the uh, Magic Jack I had plugged into a cordless phone. More wireless stuff, more problem, more technical difficulties. And um, then again, I had the modem that the uh, internet's company Clear Wireless gave me, and <laughs> that, uh, I guess that op operates at 2-something, two, two 2.8 or 2.5 gigahertz, as did the cordless phone. So these things both backing back and forth was bound to be a problem, I get now know. And there was. Also there's a problem with the, with the Clear Wireless. Here I was such a big booster of it, I'm almost embarrassed that I, I was, because um, I'm not getting the speeds that I had been getting. I'm not even, and I never got the speeds that I'm supposed to be getting. Turns out that their tower, it's like a cell tower, is within a block and a half of me. I get the, I, according to the modem, I got five lights going and I should have the best service, fastest speed possible. Something's not right. It's all supposed to be simple, like I say, keeping it simple. And uh, I just plug it in, and, and it did start up, and I have to say, you know, and it was pretty fast, at least fast comparatively to what I had been using before. And, but, it's, but it deteriorated and deteriorated over the months. And uh, I wasn't even getting a, a whole megabyte of per second speed. No, by this time, though, I have no other phones to use except one prepaid cell phone, which makes perfect sense for me to use, have a cell phone but that charges by the minute prepaid because I rarely use one. And no sense me paying for, I was paying $40 a month to Sprint for 500 minutes or 300 minutes or whatever it was. And I uh, used like eight minutes. No sense, no sense at all. So but now I needed it to call customer service or tech support. Uh, so I'm talking to them on this Magic Jack, which if we if we allow the internet connection to fail or to, to to drop or just to restart, I lose my phone. And uh, well, long story short, if I can, my Magic Jack I now have, but that's not this is after hours with the clear wireless tech support people, and then more time another hour and a half two hours with the Magic Jack technical support people. As each of them had their individual issues, I had to go, we, we, we deduced that magic check that I should get a new phone. My cordless one wasn't working properly. I did have the same issue. I picked up the phone, start the dial number, hear the, hear the dial tone, dial number, hit one digit, the dial tone's back. So I buy, I buy, I buy a, a, a landline, Trimline phone from made by AT and T. Plug that in. Same issue. Well, the Magic Jack people never told me 
that I needed to have a phone that had its own power source. And I, well, I had one sitting over there on the desk, and it's too long. But now I plug that in, and Magic Jack seems to work. Last night with the uh, clear people, this is after I talked to them all night on Thursday night, and now uh, back to them. One of the girl, one girl I talked to suggested. Oh, by the way, every every suggestion they give me does seem to help a little bit, but then it goes back after they're not no longer around for me to talk to. But she suggested that I plug the modem into its own electrical sock, okay, not putting it in the power strip, and boy, that boosts my pop my download by it more than doubled it, and I was so happy. I was up most of the night watching streaming video because on Hulu because I love to do that, and. And this morning was working fine. I went to get Target to get that phone. I come back and I'm watching a live uh, stream from uh, the Daily Gizmos. My buddies Lee Laporte and Dick D. Bortolo fell asleep. Wake up, test my speed, like point forty eight, not even one, point forty, half a megabyte per second. So I've been back and forth, plug that in and out. Again, different outlet here, different outlet. then this thing, I think. And then the magic jack, I have to replug that in, of course, because I've shut down the computer. Then that keeps freezing the computer. Finally, I don't know how I did it, but I, I, I seem to got things working now. But I still have slow download speeds. And once I get back on with the <coughs> clear, they're going to tell me to shut things down again. And again, I'm going to have the same issues putting the magic jack back together. Rand, I'm sorry, but um, I do have to say there is something to be said for landlines and cables. But speaking of <coughs> watching streaming video, back now going back to my Sexy Man movie reviews, well, here's a Sexy Man TV review. One of the things that my mother and I used to like to watch together on Sunday nights was ABC's Brothers and Sisters, and it's just a fun show. Uh, very, it's it's a soap opera. It really is a soap opera, prime time soap opera. But they've got every issue that can come up, including uh, gay marriage. One of the sons is gay, and uh, but the one, the youngest son is who I want to pay tribute to. Dave Annabelle is fucking gorgeous. I would do him, and. He, you know, clothes make the man in, in the style that they give for him is my style. I just love the way he dresses. And we get, an, we get a healthy supply of his bare chest. Great looking young man, probably the best looking man on television today. And uh, I'm going to say, hey Dave, Dave Annabelle, check him out. Brothers and sisters, nine, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock Central, ABC's on Sundays. And if you count, um, can't get that then, check it out on Hulu because it's there too. Of course, that assumes that your streaming video is working properly because you have the nice, you don't have the issues that I have. Oh, but by the way, talked to my sister yesterday, her internet was down and she's, she uses cable. If you want to get a hold of me, don't hesitate to call. It's two, for Rob's feed, the number is 206-339-169. Oh, I like that, 69 there. 69. 206-339-1690. And write to me, robsfeed at gmail.com. And of course, I wish somebody would follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com at robsfeed. That's all I'm going to bitch about right now. I'll bitch some more next time I talk to you. Thanks for checking in. I've been Rob. Have a great one.